What's up, my friend? Frank Calabria Jr. Going to teach you a quick class on how to set up a Helium HNT wallet and do this quickly without even going through an exchange. Grab some note-taking material. I'll walk you through this. It's quite easy, and it's actually quite simple to set this up. First thing you're going to want to do is download the Helium Hotspot app onto your mobile device. You can find this over at the App Store or over on Google Play. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create an account. Let's go ahead and click on create account. What we're going to do here is grab some note taking material. We're going to uh, create the 12 unique words. Some people call this a seed phrase, a seed recovery phrase. All those terms mean the same thing. It's very important that you generate these 12 words, but also record them, have multiple copies of these words backed up. Extremely important. So what you're going to want to do is when you create this, you're going to write these down one by one in order. You're going to record these as they are displayed. You're going to just, just swipe across your phone, record these words, write them all down. Have multiple copies on of these. I talk about this quite a bit in my other uh, cryptocurrency tra uh, trainings. You want to have multiple copies of all of your seed recovery phrases it's imperative, guys, okay? I've lost cryptocurrency before, so I stress this each and every single time I teach a cryptocurrency class is have multiple copies of your encrypted, uh, your keys, okay? Multiple copies. And I always suggest that you store them on a encrypted device, like an encrypted uh, flash drive device and have more than one copy of this. Lose your words, lose your money. It's as simple as that. Cryptocurrency is self-responsibility banking. So once you write down all 12 of your words, the next thing that the app is going to do, it's going to confirm that you wrote down your words. It's going to ask you, what is the fourth word that we gave you? You simply select it from the list. In this example, it's asking for the sixth word, and then it's asking for the 12th word. So basically, you just confirm that you wrote your words down. They gave you the words, you wrote them down. The next thing you're going to do is select a PIN code so you can access your wallet from your mobile device and you simply select your PIN code, six digits, and you do it twice to confirm. Pretty simple right there. All right, now the next thing you're going to see on your uh, mobile device is you're going to see that less than, greater than, down at the very bottom in the menu. Let's go ahead and click on that. It's right there. Let's go ahead and click on that and that'll open up your wallet. Now, Pay close attention to this. It might be a little confusing. It was a little confusing to me at first. The bottom circle box square down there, the little icon uh, with the less than sign, the little person uh, icon, whatever that is down there. If that doesn't display for some reason, close the app and then open it back up, okay? Clicking on the top, receive HNT, it doesn't do anything. You got to click on the bottom one, the bottom icon. You have to click on that to get your wallet address, okay? Very important. So just go ahead and click on the uh, less than, greater than sign down there. You'll see that little icon down there at the bottom. If you don't see that, close the app, open it back up. Now, when you click on that icon, this is going to generate your wallet address. Okay, This is your receive wallet address for your HNT, for your Helium. You can go ahead and copy this, and I suggest you copy this. And you always, when you record your addresses, you stack them in a notepad, okay? Don't store this on your phone. Um, you can have this on your phone because it's just a receive address. You've already got it on your phone because you got the app. But I'm saying when you store this address, say in a text document, do it like on an encrypted device or an external hard drive or something like that. You want to stack the addresses. The reason you want to do that, stack it multiple times, is when you use this address, you can verify the first three, four characters, the last three, four characters of your address, and you can verify it. If you screw up and copy it or cut it by accident or whatever you do to mess it up, this is why we stack it multiple times. So this is your receive wallet address. You now have an HNT wallet set up. It's that simple. There's nothing to this. Another thing you can do is you can purchase Helium if you need to purchase Helium, if you wish to purchase Helium, and you can send it directly to your HNT wallet address that we just created. Now, there's many different 
ways to purchase HNT. You can actually use other cryptocurrencies. You can use some fiat currencies. And you can even use uh, Visa and MasterCard in some cases if you wish to purchase HNT. One of the resources that I use, I use this quite often, is simpleswap.io. Let me show you this resource and I'll put the link below in the description and show you where this is. I use this quite often for various different cryptocurrencies for exchanging them. You can just completely bypass an exchange and the fees are actually not bad. They're pretty low actually. The fees as far as swapping things out, you can test it yourself, but I've used this many times for many different currency pairs. I've never had issue with this thing whatsoever. So you can see here in this example, let's just say I wanted to buy some HNT. The first box, box number one, I'm going to use uh, Tether, TRC20 tokens. In my example, you could use something else, however you want to purchase uh, Helium HNT. You'll find the Helium in the drop-down box at number two, and you'll simply paste in the brand new wallet address that we just created. And then you click on Exchange. Now, what, what I'm going to do is it's, send, it's saying right here, Send your USDT TRC20 tokens to this address. So it's given me the address to send to, and it's telling me to send exactly 100 USDT. Okay, and it, by me sending this, they will exchange my my uh, TRC20 tokens USDT for helium. In this example, I'm just showing you guys a simple way to buy helium. In case you want to buy some helium. Now, what I'm using is TronLink. This is a, a cryptocurrency wallet uh, extension for Google Chrome, or also you can use this on the Brave browser. If you want to use TronLink, I'll actually give you a free training below, show you how to set that up. It's really simple, but that's what I'm showing you on my screen. I'm using TronLink. And what I'm doing right here, I got USDT in my TronLink wallet, and I'm going to spend 100 bucks and send it to this address right here. I'm going to purchase some Helium for training purposes. So I'm going to click on... Uh, USD in my wallet. I'm going to click on send. And the receiving account, that's the address that they gave me. And then how much do I want to purchase? It told me to send exactly 100. So that's exactly what I'm going to enter in, in these boxes. Okay. So let's recap and look at this real quick. What I did was I grabbed the address that they told me to send to. I verified the first three, four characters, the last three, four characters up there in receiving account. I verified that is correct. And then it's telling me to ex uh, send exactly 100 USDT. So that's what I'm putting in the box, okay? And then you just click send. It's that simple. And then I'm going to accept it. Once again, this is my TronLink wallet that I'm using. And over the course of time, I didn't time how long this took. Actually, it took overnight because I went to sleep and I woke up and I had some HNT in my wallet, okay? I did this for training purposes. There was some slippage. Uh, the possibly the price adjusted this and that doesn't really matter, but it worked and it worked perfectly. Okay. So real quick, I'll put this resource below in the description down there. This, this is something that I use quite often and it's pretty awesome to swap out anything that you want to swap out. Now you can also go reversal. What I mean is you could take helium and say, for example, you wanted to trade it in for Bitcoin. Well, you can just do the same thing. Okay. Pretty awesome. Except you got to have a Bitcoin address set up that you use where you want the Bitcoin sent to, say you want to cash out on some HNT. So you can just go in reverse. So that's really the really simple solution of how you can set up an HNT wallet quickly without even going through the hassle of opening up an exchange. It takes some time with the exchanges. You got to verify things. You got to send documentation, all that crazy stuff. Know your customer stuff. You know, unless you uh, open up something decentralized. You got to do go through all the verification steps. All right, and once again, like uh, we'll, we'll I'll try and put the links down below here for this too, uh, so you guys can go ahead and click on this and just grab this. But you'll easily be able to find this over on the app or Google Play. Helium Hotspot is the app that you're going to want to install on your phone. Okay. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the training. Uh, pretty simple, guys. Pretty easy to set this up, and. You know, if you got some value from this video, make sure you click uh, like, comment, share it with other people that are struggling. I know I was having some problems trying to set up an HNT wallet. I didn't know I could just go to an app and do this. I thought I had to go through an exchange and it was uh, this long process. Well, this is the quick, fast shortcut. 
Uh, all the links to every single thing that I mentioned in this video will be below. And like I said, I'll give you that free training for Tron link if you want to go ahead and set that up on your Google Chrome or uh, on the Brave browser. Comes in quite handy, to, uh, that wallet. I've been using, using it quite a, a lot recently. All right, like I said, the resources will be below. Hope you guys enjoyed this training. Frank Calabro Jr. signing off. Thank you.